ForBangTheBook.com. This is Kyle Hunter with your Saturday, February 2nd preview for the college basketball slate. Every single Saturday, a massive slate of college basketball games. You know that by now. What I'm here to do is try to give you a breakdown of some of the interesting games um, that I think are better should be paying attention to. You know, um, there's certainly interesting games from a fan standpoint, but also we're here to try to make some money. And that's what I'm going to try to help you do is to have a look at some of the games and some of the angles going into that game that could be interesting that might impact the game in some way. Before I get into this preview, definitely check out what's going on at bangthebook.com. I have a daily college basketball free picks article there. Uh, it was a great January for the free plays. I'm going to keep grinding away on the February plays. I'll post that daily there at bangthebook.com. You can even sign up to get notifications as soon as that post is made. I know a lot of people have taken advantage of that. I certainly would suggest you do something like that as well. Subscribe to these videos here on YouTube, uh, Bang the Book, if you haven't already. Adam Burke done some great videos here. Brian Blessing. I'll be doing the two videos here per week. On Wednesday, I take a look at, you know, where the sharp and public action is for the slate. And then on Friday, we give you the breakdown on Saturday cards so you can have a preview. I know these Saturday cards are so massive that it's hard to keep an eye on everything that's going on, especially if you have a full-time job outside of uh, dealing with the sports betting. You know, so that's what I'm here to do is try to give you some insight into things that you might not have known, some under-the-radar games, things like that. Um, lots of stuff there, Bang the Book, though. We also got Bang the Book Radio, great shows daily. Adam Burke does a great job hosting that. Get some really good guests on there. Uh, educational information uh, as far as betting. You know, that, that's what's nice. It's not just free picks. It's also the process and what goes into it. And then you also get some free picks as well. So um, check out that. If you aren't already doing that daily, certainly recommend that as well. Now let's get into a breakdown here of some of the games for Saturday's action. So I wanted to first talk about uh, San Francisco and St. Mary's. Uh, this is a West Coast Conference game. Both teams are coming off bad losses. I mean, these were both teams who were starting to talk about, you know, maybe we're on the bubble, maybe we can get in the NCAA tournament. These last couple games have really hurt. St. Mary's has lost at BYU and then at Pepperdine in overtime. Really, really killer losses for their resume. San Francisco, uh, you'll remember they played against Gonzaga very tough at home. Right? San Francisco was ahead in that game with just a few minutes left. Really bad beat if you had San Francisco plus the points in that game. But San Francisco now coming off the loss at San Diego. Not a good loss for them. You know, it's something that they led much of that game and then blew it there in the second half. San Francisco is a quality team. I think they're really well coached. We know St. Mary's is well coached. They're here every single year. Who's going to bounce back here? I think this is a really big game for both teams. I think you see a fairly slow tempo. Both teams working hard on the defensive end. Tight game here, I think. Let's look at Hofstra and Northeastern. Really good under-the-radar game. You know I love these under-the-radar games. The CAA, Hofstra's won 16 straight games, so they are really playing some good basketball right now. Northeastern led Hofstra late um, at, at Hofstra. Now they get to come home. Hofstra travels to Northeastern. Um, you know, they lost by three, Northeastern did, at Hofstra after leading by nine points in the second half. Hofstra beat Northeastern last year at Northeastern by a single point. So you know Northeastern has plenty of incentive for this game. Hofstra has been on a road trip. Definitely a better spot here for Northeastern. I think Hofstra is the better team, but I think Northeastern is the second or third best team in the CAA. Definitely a tough spot. Curious to see where this line comes out, and I, I lean Northeastern in this one. I think they will be very motivated for this game. From the big conference, we go back to uh, Oregon and Colorado in the Pac-12. Look, if you listen to Bang the Book, Radio, handicapping the hard book. You probably know what I'm going to say about why I like this one. Back-to-back -back at altitude uh, for Oregon. Nice win at Utah on Thursday. Comeback win. Forced a ton of turnovers in that game. That was uh, one where they were down early. And they took a pretty good lead. Held on at the end. Colorado coming off a home loss to Oregon State. To me, this is Colorado or pass. You know, um, Oregon... Nice win. You got to prove it two games in three days at altitude. Oregon's been inconsistent. Colorado, a really good home court advantage. 
coming off a tough loss to Oregon State, you would think Colorado would be uh, well prepared for a game like this. Then we have uh, George Mason and VCU, A-10 game. A-10's way down this year. I mean, this is a weak conference compared to what they were a couple of years ago. This is a big game, though. George Mason is in first place in the league. VCU sitting at 5-2. and two. Mason at 7-1 and one so far this year. VCU playing really, really good defense. I've been really impressed and surprised with how good their defense has been. You know, Mason hasn't really beaten that many good teams. I think they're an improved team. I don't think they're a great team. VCU here, my lean. I also lean to the over. I think this will be a pretty fast-paced game. If the shooting numbers are even decent, I think the over has a good chance here. Go down the board here. Look at UC Irvine, Long Beach State. UC Irvine, this is a fascinating game, first of all. I love handicaps like this. UC Irvine coming off an overtime loss at – or overtime win, I'm sorry. Overtime win at UCSB on national TV. Last night it looked like UCSB might pull that game out. UC Irvine ended up winning in overtime. Irvine has only lost one time in the league. What was that one loss? Home to Long Beach State. That's who they're playing now, UC Irvine, Long Beach State. UC Irvine first in the Big West. Long Beach State is on a, a slump right now. They've really hit the hard times. Uh, they just played at Hawaii. Irvine coming off that overtime win at UCSB. It's really not a good spot for either team. But UC Irvine with road revenge, you've heard me say it before, road revenge is a positive angle to look for. Certainly not something I just blindly bet on, but, um, you know, certainly – something that you want to keep an eye on going forward because road revenge is a pretty good angle, especially you know, as we get later in the season, we're going to have teams who, who lost straight up and ATS against this team before. Now they're trying to go for revenge. I would lean UC Irvine here, but I can't lay too many points in a spot like this. Loyola Chicago and Illinois State, huge game in the Missouri Valley Conference. A very rare 10 p.m. Eastern tip for uh, Illinois State hosting this game. Loyola is up one game on Illinois State in the standings. Really, the Missouri Valley seems pretty wide open right now. Loyola has some injuries. They've been really inconsistent. I think Loyola should be the best team in this league. That doesn't mean I think they'll necessarily win this game, though. Um, Illinois State switching up their defenses, playing much better of late. They just won at Drake, so some good momentum for them coming into this game. I think this is a fascinating game. I probably won't bet this game, but it's that one that I definitely want to watch. Final one I wanted to look at here, MTSU and UAB. I don't know what Conference USA is doing with this new scheduling thing that they're doing, but it doesn't make any sense to me. Back-to-back, -back, home and home here, three days apart. Uh, why would you do this? I'm not really sure. MTSU just upset UAB in the last game. Now they go to UAB. You have to like UAB's chances of winning outright. But they're going to be a big favorite here. So, I mean, what are, what are we going to – have to be laying if we take UAB. I probably won't want to lay that kind of price. You know, and I don't want to be laying double digits with UAB, that's for sure. Um, what I do like more in this game is the over. There were 136 points in the last game with some poor shooting numbers. Uh, you know, I would think that the shooting numbers would improve a little bit. UAB a pretty efficient offense generally. MTSU pushing the pace a little bit right now. So if you get a low 130s number, I think the over could be a good look in this one. Um, as, as we look through the card here on Saturday, there's certainly a lot of under-the-radar games that, that I think you should be paying attention to. That was a, a good look at several games that, that I'll be looking for here. Um, you know, I think that you should also listen to the Bang the Book radio show from Friday, Handicapping the Hardwood, where I give a couple of the, the games that I'll be looking at as potential premium plays for Saturday's card. I also did a first look, uh, sneak peek, in the Friday College Basketball Arters article. So uh, we've got you covered a lot of different ways there, bangthebook.com. Uh, tune in next week when I do the Wednesday Sharp Money Report. Check out the Daily College Basketball Free Picks article. Uh, good luck this weekend with all your plays. Oh, you can also follow me on Twitter, at Kyle Hunter Picks. Follow Bang the Book, at Bang the Book on Twitter. Subscribe here on YouTube if you haven't already. And also, I'm much appreciated for everybody who gives the thumbs up to these videos on YouTube. certainly helps out and encourages us to do more of these in the future. Also, comment if you have any questions, comments. Uh, certainly open to those in the, in the section here below. I'll try to check those out once in a while here 
on YouTube as well. Good luck to everybody this weekend, and I'll see you again next week.